Hi everyone, we are doing something a little bit different with this um, little video. What I want to show you today is how to use something called frisket for masking off large areas. Now, um, you'll see the image in a second, it all will reveal itself, but I'm doing a portrait, a head portrait of a dog and I want to put in a soft pan pastel background. Now sometimes I just put in the outline and then just put in my background and it the pastel can spread into the head of the dog or you know the animal itself so sometimes I mask it off with just an outline on a cutout of the on copier paper just a copy of the reference photo but today I just want to show you how to use frisket and the frisket is just this low tack um, sticky back plastic pretty much comes on a roll um, you buy it in different sizes you see here it's got, it's got map squares on there as well if you need to line up grids. Now the only thing with it is basically you want to put your image onto, this is a paper side and then it's got the peelable um, sticky back here. So if you draw your image on, peel it off, flip it over, you'll find your image is in reverse when you want to go and lay it onto your paper. And I've done that before. So what I've done is this here is in fact a printout, an A3 printout of the dog that I'm drawing. Now what I've done is I've laid it down onto, I've got a glass desk in my studio, so I've flipped the image over, um, so it's in reverse, laid it face down onto the glass and then I've got one of my daylight lamps here and I'm just slid this, I will slide it, in underneath the actual glass. Now I have got an AO sized um, drawing board which doubles up and it is actually a light box built into it but that one is dismantled at the moment. Okay so this should now reveal the image of the dog um, and if I need to brighten an area I can just move that light around. So I'm going to bring it down here first of all and wedge it in there if I can. There we go. Obviously this is just a, a temporary structure that I've done. Now, if I lay this down now over the top, draw my outline, when I peel off the sticky back then and flip it over, the dog will be the correct way around for my portrait. Let me just do it and then you can see by example what I mean. So I'm going to take this down now to my reference, the reverse of the reference photo. Okay, now, simply a case of, I can just bring this forward, just double check the image, I didn't have a good look at the image, just make sure I can see all the outline myself, that's fine. Okay, so we're literally all we're going to do is just come inside that outer edge of the reference of a subject, and that way it gives us the allowance to bring, when we start laying the pan pastel down for the background, it allows us just to come in over the top. I see often people put down pastel backgrounds and you can tell the ones that have put them down afterwards and have been hesitant because they've been afraid to come in over that outer edge and it leaves a halo, a really obvious halo around your subject. I'm just going to double check up here. Up here it's really soft, fluffy fur, so the outline isn't super clear. Okay. And what you could do, for example, if the outline isn't super clear, this is another thing you can do. I'll just zoom in a little bit. If the outline isn't super clear, before you start, come in like this and just create the outline that you're going to follow over the top. So then when you put this back down over you've got a lovely clear line there now to follow. So I'm just following that black outline there that I popped in. It makes it so much simpler. I mean this doesn't have to be exact exact is literally, we're not using this to draw the dog, this is to create the 
something that we can just mask off that main area. So that's that transferred over. What we do now, just remove this and I will just literally get scissors and cut around. So what I'll do literally is just remove this, get the scissors and we will cut that shape out. So what we've got here now is this is the line drawing I've, I've done like um, using the indentation method here on my pastel mats. So cut out our frisket. It's a really basic shape um, and it just fits nicely over our main area just to protect it. So what I will do now is just peel off the back should be fun and then we'll just lay that sticky down over our main subject this is the fun part just getting the backing off there we go right we're off now so I'm going to take the whole lot off and then lay it down into place And this is the joy of it because it is low tack. We can lift and adjust a little bit until we've got it into place. Looks good there. That looks good. So I'll leave it back up on this side. Oops. <laughs> As you can see, a tiny bit of adjustment to get it into the right place. Um, I am happy with that. We'll come in over there at that edge a tiny bit more than we wanted to, but that is fine. It's close enough for me. There. And just press that down into place. Like so. And any edges where you just want to take a tiny bit more off, you just go in with the scissors and just might just take a tiny bit more off that top edge. I've just got a little bit there to trim. For some reason I managed to miss on the actual outline. But that is our frisket into place. And that means now we that's all this area is protected so we can just go in there, lay our hands on it and we're not going to miss or get any sort of stray bits of pastel when we do the background coming down into there. Okay.